For this blog post, I thought it would be fun to create a custom emoji for Father's Day using the BES4 software with a PowerPack upgrade. Once you open your BES4 Dream Edition software, click Create a New Design. Click on the Hoop down arrow and choose Select Hoop. Choose the 100 by 100 millimeter hoop. If you are using inches, this is a 3.94 by 3.94 inch hoop. Click OK. At the top of the window, select Add Design. And then choose Emoji Large from the folder drop down menu. Left mouse click on Emoji 008 2 inch. Move your cursor to the left side of the design page, hold the left mouse button down, and drag to draw the emoji the size that you desire. When you've got it the size you want, release the left mouse button. When I looked at the design, I decided I wanted the outline to be a little thicker. This setting can be easily changed. In the sequence window, locate the outline segment and left mouse click on it. The properties for that segment will appear in the properties window. Highlight the current steel width. Type in your new steel width. I selected 3 millimeters. And then click Apply at the bottom of the Properties window. The next thing that we're going to do is remove the eyebrows and the eyes from the emoji. In the Sequence window, click on the plus sign next to the brown segment to expand that color. This is the color for the eyes and the mouth. Hold the control key down on your keyboard and left mouse click on the eye parts. This should be the last four brown segments. Right mouse click on one of those parts and choose delete. You could have also pressed delete on the keyboard or delete in the clipboard area. Now let's add our sunglass emoji. Press add design. From the folder drop down menu select emoji. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the emojis. Choose Emoji 164, the sunglasses. We need this emoji to fit inside of our first emoji, so hold the left mouse button down and drag it across the emoji. Release the mouse when it's the size you desire. To give my emoji a little more pizzazz, I drew it at an angle. You can draw your straight across if you prefer. Click on the Select tool. The sunglasses will automatically be selected. Place the cursor over the sunglasses, hold the left mouse button down, and drag them into position. Release the mouse when they are in the desired location. Place your cursor over one of the circles. The circles allow you to rotate the design. Hold the left mouse button down and rotate the design into position. Repeat these steps until it's in the location you desire. Choose the Zoom tool down arrow and choose Zoom to Selection. This zooms the sunglasses right into the center of your window. If you want different colored lenses for your sunglasses, click on the lens portion in the sequence view and then click on a different color tile. Since we stack two layers on top of each other, the yellow is underneath the gray of the sunglasses. This is normally something I'd tell you to try the Remove Overlaps function with. However, I tried it and it didn't work very well for this particular design. Since Remove Overlaps is not going to work, I can show you a new feature. This technique can be used with built-in designs. In the Sequence window, click on the yellow. This is where we need to remove the stitches. Click on the Tools tab at the top of the window. Click on the Edit Shape tool. Right mouse click along the shape line and choose Add Hole. To add a hole in the shape of the sunglasses, we need to draw around the sunglasses just inside the design. Begin drawing around the sunglasses. Don't worry about perfection. You are creating a hole that no one will see. Left mouse click all the way around the sunglass shape. When you finish drawing around the sunglasses, move your cursor outside of the design area and right mouse click twice. The yellow will be removed from underneath the sunglasses. Click on the Select tool and then press the Home tab. On the Home tab there's a zoom area with a square. 
press the square. This zooms to the hoop. Click on the Select Tool down arrow and choose Select All. Right mouse click on the design and choose Group. We can now move the entire design as one unit. Click on the Normal Text Tool. Click on the Design page beneath the emoji to activate the text tool. Type in the text Dad. In the Properties window, click on the Font Style drop down menu and select a font. You can use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to see a preview. I liked the Elmwood font, so I selected it and clicked Apply at the bottom of the Properties window. In the Properties window, you'll see the word Envelope and next to it Select. Click on the Select button. A window will appear with different envelope styles that you can select. Select Bridge Concave Top. Your text shape will be adjusted. There are adjustment nodes that you can select. The top red circle allows you to adjust the amount of transformation that was applied. Place your cursor over the red circle. Hold the left mouse button down and drag it downward to adjust the text. Click on the Select tool. The text will automatically be selected. Place your cursor over the center of the text, hold the left mouse button down, and drag it beneath the emoji in the approximate desired position. You're just trying to get the spacing beneath the emoji that you would like. Place your cursor at the top left of the design page. Hold the left mouse button down and draw around the entire design to select all. There are other ways to select all. Click on the Arrange tab, choose Horizontal Center, and then Center to center it to the hoop. Before we save the design, I want to show you something that will save you a step in the save process. Click on the View tab. Press Preferences. In the Preferences window, you can set the default machine format. If you place a check mark in front of Auto Save BRF, when you save the design in your machine format, the BRF will save at the same time. This will save you a step. If you were in the room with me, you'd ask me, Cindy, why is this BRF format so important? Saving a design in the BRF format allows you to change the font style and text properties when you open the BRF file. It also allows you to apply different fabric recipes to the design. When you open a BRF file to edit a design, you will need to remember to ungroup the design before trying to make changes. Once you have your preferences set up, click OK. There's one last thing I would like to do and that is to add underlay to DAD. Click off the design and then click on the DAD text. In the properties window, scroll down to underlay. Place a check mark in front of zigzag and contour and then click apply. This will give more stability to the text. Click on the Paste Setter button. Choose Save As. Choose Save As again. Choose your machine format. Type in a name for the design and press Save. Now if you go to Open, you'll see that you have both a BRF file and a PES file or whatever your machine format is. They're both there. If you want to edit, you would bring back up the BRF file. Now you're going to pick up where we left off with written instructions.